This video is about uh, setting up your statically generated website um, built using Nux.js. Um, we're going to use GitHub for our source control repository and GitHub Actions for our um, deployment. And we're going to use Azure um, static generated sites as our hosting environment. So um, to get started, I've got a few things um, open here. So I've got um, a GitHub account that's all set up, ready to go to host our code. Um, I've got um, Azure signed in with the same account that I'm using for GitHub. So I've signed up for a new account using, using my GitHub account. Um, and I've also got VS Code installed. Um, and inside VS Code, I've got some in extensions installed. So I've got Vita installed um, that helps us get some syntax highlighting for Vue.js, that kind of good thing. Um, live server that helps us um, view, our, view our website um, should we need to. If we're doing some HTML stuff, prototyping, we can use live server just to, to view that on the fly. C Sharp for our API um, code. Um, static generated sites in, in Azure so that we can actually have a look at the site in Azure and then Azure Functions as well, because we're going to use Azure Functions um, is the, the mechanism that they use for APIs inside static generated sites in Azure. Um, I've also got Node.js installed on this virtual machine. Um, and if you want to look at how I created this virtual machine, I've got another video on how to create a Windows 11 um, virtual machine hosted on Hyper-V so that you can go and set this up and follow along. So with that said, um, we're going to go and create our new repository inside GitHub. So my test SSG, uh, public is fine and all of that is fine. So we'll create that repository. We will um, copy that just in case we need it. So we're going to create the um, Nuxt app um, inside VS Code. And to do that, we need to um, be in the folder where we're going to store our GitHub repository. And this will create a folder for us. So it will create a folder the same name as the project name that we give it here in this command. So my test SSG needs to match the uh, GitHub repository. And this is going to ask us for some options. So that is the project name. And we want to do it in JavaScript. We want NPM. We want uh, Vuetify. We definitely want Axios so that we can call our API and we definitely want Nuxt content so that we get some content man management system uh, benefits. Uh, we do want our code to be linted. We do want it to be prettified as well. So we'll do that. Uh, we don't really need any testing framework. Uh, statics generated site we do need and we're going to statically host it. And we are uh, going to use that and GitHub Actions and that is my GitHub name. We're going to use Git and this will now go away and create that static generated site locally on our on our machine. So I'll come back when that's done. So as you can see, that's now finished. And as it says there, we need to CD into my test SSG and we need to NPM run dev. So let's do that, see what that does. And that's running up locally on our machine and it's gonna give us a website at localhost 3000 once this is all finished, building all the statically generated content.
So that is now up and running. So I can control click on that. And that will open Chrome and localhost 3000. And this is the site that's been statically generated. So now we can go and add this to um, the GitHub repository. So we'll stop the site from running. Uh, we'll actually go and open that folder that we just created inside VS Code. So we'll open that so that we can actually see all of the code. And if we go to source control, you can see everything is untracked at present. So if we go and have a look at what it says in GitHub, um, it says we can add the remote. So again, using our terminal window, we should be able to add that remote. And So now I should be able to just go and add everything. <clears throat> so everything is going to be added. And then I can just do a push from here. A commit, sorry. And that should have now, if I go and look in GitHub, let's just get rid of some of these extra windows. I go and look at the code in here. I should see I've now got um, my code in there. With that all in GitHub, I can now go to uh, my Azure subscription and try to create a static web app. So static web apps, let's create a new one. Uh, in my subscription, let's uh, create a new resource group. Um, Test SSG, the same as our site. Um, we'll go with free rather than a centrally paid one. I'm in West Europe. Source is going to be GitHub. So we'll sign in with GitHub to authorize Azure to access to the GitHub repository. Um, organization. Uh, is my GitHub organization, and that's my repository. And the branch we want to always deploy is the main branch. Um, so the build presets that we want to, to use um, is not there because they don't have a Nuxt JS um, uh, template so we can do um, custom and the 
app location is slash that's correct the api location is going to be in api and the output folder where nuxt builds everything to by default is called dist so um, we can go with those options so that looks like it's done So with that deployed in Azure, we can, we've got one more change we need to make. So we can pull on the latest source code. And if we go to the source code in the GitHub workflows, you can see that there's an added um, GitHub action job. That is the job that runs every time we push to our main branch and deploys our web app and API um, using the dist folder. There's one more command that we need to actually change, and that's to add the app build command to this job. And the app build command it needs to run is npm run generate as opposed to npm run build. Um, Nuxt requires the generate operation in order to create the dist folder. Um, so I've run this locally already and um, you can see that I've got a dist folder that's being created. So if we save that and add that in to our GitHub repository, so we'll create a commit for that and we'll push those changes up. If we go over to our GitHub repository go to github actions we should see that that's now started that build and we'll wait for that to build but it took a few minutes um, but eventually it comes back that the the build has worked um, and we should see now if we go to our web app if we go to our statically generated site and we go to the URL that's been auto generated by Azure to actually view this site, we get our site is up and running on the internet. So that's our site um, with our code in GitHub uh, where we can edit the code in, in VS Code and every time we push the code up to github it will run that build deploy the latest version out to our site so that it's readily available for us to go and view and see how that looks on the internet um, so that's that's it for this video um, there's going to be um, some more on this so we're going to gradually build out this site so this is only the start point um, but we're going to take this forwards and build out this this site um, using some of the features of Nuxt and also build a, an API into it as well. So um, come back to, to look at those videos and see how the site progresses. Thanks for watching.